Previously on Trisha, Tina discovered which of these two brothers was the father of her baby. I don't know what it says, sweetheart. <laughs> Michael, you are Don Charles. <laughs> but a bigger mystery remained unsolved. Don Don answered the door. Someone just stuck their hand in with a gun and started shooting. He was murdered in my home. And his family thinks I have something to do with it. Today, Tina is back to prove her innocence with a lie detector test. Regarding the shooting at your apartment, did you have any involvement with it? It's a polygraph test that could send one family into an emotional tailspin. Yeah, ever since this happened, I haven't been able to do nothing. And another person to prison. What you think happened is that somehow Tina set it up to get herself and the kids out of that apartment because yeah. she knew. She's a suspect in this crime. At the funeral, she said, next time it's gonna be the right one. It's the shocking conclusion to one of our most talked about Trisha Show stories. Don't hey, make me look like I'm a bad person. You are. Tina. You better turn around and hey, just wait just for these the results. Hey, hey, that's what you better do. Hey, that's what you better do. Someone, Someone was killed. Plus, Brianna is a prisoner in her own home. Why didn't you go outside? He accuses me of sleeping with our neighbors. He records me with cameras. Brianna cheated on me once, and because of that, I do not trust her. She'll take a lie detector test to clear her name. Since you and George have been living with family, have you had sexual contact with any of your neighbors? The polygraph determined that Brianna. Today on Trisha. We met a woman named Tina who was here to find out if a man named Michael or his deceased brother Don Don was the father of her son Don Trell. A DNA test did in fact prove that Michael was her baby's father but on that episode Don Don's family made accusations that have brought them all back here today. You see, Don Don had been murdered inside Tina's apartment, and Don Don's family is convinced that Tina had something to do with it. Take a look at the clip from the last show. Last time Tina was here, she needed a DNA test to find out which of the two brothers she was sleeping with was the father of her then 14-month-old son, Don Trell. When you got pregnant and you tell, who did you tell? I was confused. I did not know. It could be between you and your brother. You said, Michael, Mike, Mike, this your baby? No. And then you I told me Michael that it was Don Don, baby. Two potential fathers and then an unsolved murder. Two days after I found out I was pregnant and I told Don Don, he was murdered in my home. And his family thinks I have something to do with it. Don Don's family blames Tina for tearing the family apart. You got your baby here. And when this happened to my son, I asked Tina before anything happened, leave my kids alone. Don Don's mother, Felicia, has not been able to get past her son's murder. Ever since this happened, I haven't been able to do nothing. I was secluded in my house for almost a year. Tina wanted to come back to prove her innocence. Can you come back? Absolutely, and take a lie detector test to see if you knew anything about yeah. Don Don's murder. And I'm willing to come yeah. back. Well, on that particular show, Tina was unable to take a polygraph test because she was pregnant. Well, since then, she's had the baby and she's agreed to come back to hopefully set the record straight. Now, before we talk to Tina and reveal the results of the test, please welcome back Michael and his mother, Felicia. <laughs> So, Felicia, you're, you're still in mourning. You haven't been able to get past all of this. No. Have you seen the baby? That's Michael's baby. He's at my house now. So you're He's at my house now. You're pretty close to me. Uh, after the show, I, uh, my daughter went and picked him up for me after the show. There were a lot of things that... A lot of unanswered questions on the last show. Right. What kind of things have left you suspecting Tina might have something to do with Don Don's murder? For one, the morning that it happened, uh, she called my phone and she asked, she said, uh, I'm going to the grocery store, you know, do you want anything? And I said, what? She said, I'm going, because that morning, Don Don was getting ready to come home with me. Right after that, I get another call with his girlfriend screaming and the phone saying, mama, 
they didn't kill your baby right here in my face. You know, when you told her, that I called. I said, uh, somebody they just called saying uh, my son that got killed in your house. I said, where you at? What's going on? She, all she said was, let me go see what's going on. What? That was it. It was just you know calm, was just she like upset? that. Was she crying? Was she screaming? No, she came to me and she was like, uh, I don't know exactly what happened, but she said next time it's gonna be the right one. So I asked her. Did you, did you know this, Michael? I called everybody. Yeah, she had called me and told me about it. I said, wait, excuse my language. So I Tina said, said. I say, say that again. I said, what you mean by that? Why would you say that? And she said, oh, now she tried to, you know, she started covering but up, changing the story. She said next time. She said next time it'll be the right one. I don't know exactly. Do you think that she maybe wanted, you think that she arranged some kind of hit or something? That's Do you when think I that got to Michael. Thinking, I said maybe it was Michael that she wanted. Did you know that? Yeah, I was I was hearing a lot of things, but it was different. I I I ain't know or believe it because she was like when she used to say things we were arguing. She was like, "Well, I don't, I don't I don't want you in my house and stuff like that." You know, when I leave or whatever, you know, she'd be calling asking me when am I coming back and stuff. So I didn't right. think that it was like that serious. You know, Don. I should tell everyone that Don Don's sister Florida is here today, also for answers, and Tina's mother Teresa is also here with us in the studio. We're going to talk to them in a moment. Um, Now, I know Florida, you, Florida, and your brother, Don Don, were in the apartment. Yeah, and, take, my, and my, my daughter's mom. Okay, take me through what happened that day. The night before he got murdered, her and my little sister, Florida, had an argument. They had a real bad argument. She was gonna leave with one of her friends or whatever. What, you're saying that she wanted revenge because you all wanted to leave? Mm -hmm. Is that what you feel, Florida? Yeah. Yeah. And you, you got into it with her? Yes. yes. The so before. the day of the murder, there was a knock at the door, and it was you who went to the door, no, right? I was, the, I was on the couch right off the door, and I was the first one who asked it. I said, who is it, when someone knocked at the door? And Don Don was coming back from the kitchen, and yeah, he was, was like, I got it. Finna answer the door. Yeah, right, and he was like, I got it. And he answered the door, and as soon as he answered the door, before he can even get the door open wide, someone just stuck their hand in with a gun and started shooting, and everybody got to run Where was Don Don hit? He first shot was in his like up in this part of his face. His temple. It was his temple. They just shot him. And up, it was like, like from the first shot. It was like that person. And why? Why I suspected that she wanted it for me. That Tina wanted to. Not just Tina. I ain't gonna just say Tina. I'm, whoever sent this person to that apartment to kill somebody, it was like they had the wrong person. Cause the first shot, me being from the streets, I know a shooter. When you shoot a gun and it's like at a, at a situation like that where you just unexpectedly, when a person opened the door, he shot and he paused. After that first shot, like, you know, like, man, I, like, he messed up or something. Yeah, and then it was a pause, like a pause enough to where as I, I heard it, and I, my instance, I just jumped right up. It, the pause was that long to the point where I made it all the way to the back door before he finished. Now, Florida, the things you said on the last show you thought were suspicious about Tina's behavior. You said she took all the kids with her. Yes, from the time that I have always been around Tina. She's a homebody. She don't go out a lot. And for the, on this particular morning, for her to just take all of her kids, all of them, not leave a few left at the house, to take all of them and just leave like that, like, it was surprising to me because if I'm still at her house or anything, she'll leave, or anyone else is at her house, she'll leave some of her kids or whatever if she's going to do something. Did she try to get you to go with her? Yeah, like, after she was getting ready to leave, whatever, she was like, you sure you don't want to go yeah, with me? Yeah, it was kind of weird because they was arguing that night, and I didn't understand why would you be trying to get her to come out now. Y'all didn't even say nothing to each other no more after that. Sorry point. to interrupt you, let me get this straight. What you think happened is that somehow Tina set it up to get herself and the kids out of that apartment because yeah. she knew someone was coming to that apartment yes. to either shoot yeah. Michael or Don Don. Yeah, is that what that's you're saying? what I really believe. Let me come to Tina's no, mom. No, How no, do you no, feel? No. Okay, now, no, wait a minute. You're going to say my daughter never, ever took her children out of that house. The yeah, reason, the reason she that she did take her kids because she called me and she asked me, can I watch her kids? Yeah, I told her yes. that I couldn't. No, I did not say that out. Yes. I said I couldn't. OK. She had to take her children with her. She didn't have and to. She, she didn't she have to. She take her kids without it. any other time. So y'all right. stop and lying on And you never like keep it. But you so upset lying on your daughter. Don't 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 you, don't, you don't even keep I your own. So my kids, my we're going to knock it off. I they don't, don't sit there and say that. Knock it off. So they mess with you. You're the best mother of the year. You think you're not knowing. I keep my kids. You don't never keep them kids. Never. You mistreat those kids. You's a damn lie. You mistreat those kids. You's a damn lie. That's what you do. You's a damn lie. And your daughter is treated. Yeah, you got to tell me. Yeah, 
Where is she? She said you called the baby a monkey. So what kind of is that? Y'all come out here and make yourself look good. Let me tell you something. I don't have to make myself look good. nothing but what I have. You know what that is, so I know it's upsetting to have your daughter accused, but that's You're why right. she's here and I can't wait for the last that is to come she out. Let me ask Felicia, what is going to happen? I don't know what the, the lie detector results are going to show. What if it shows that Tina, Kiki as you call her, did have something to do with Don Don's murder? She is going to be prosecuted. She is going to be prosecuted. And that's I, to the day I die. I'm not gonna stop until I see something done you about what justice. happened to my baby because he didn't deserve it. He was not a hateful person. He was not a gangbanger. None of that. But let me ask you, Michael, you, you're a guy of the streets. You said yeah. that before on the streets. Do you feel somewhat guilty? Do you think maybe they came looking for you? I feel guilty for the fact because I was the one finna open the door and he just over, he overtook my walk. He was already coming like past. I was the one getting up. Because I, I don't just open the door, yank it open, or if I don't recognize your voice or something like that, I'm not going to open careful. the door. You've got to be careful. Yeah. You've got to be careful. And that's, yeah, why, yeah. that's why I feel guilty behind it. But let me ask you something. Since, since all of this, since you found out that that little boy is yours, that Don Trell, uh, Don L, I beg your pardon, is your son, yeah. um, how are you and Tina getting on? Tina, cool. Like I said, I still... Until the results came, I still, you know, politic with her because that's 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 my homie, man. But what what are you gonna and do if it turns out that she does know something she, about if, Listen, your that's my mother. brother. She's just my baby mama. I can be in my son's life without her. Let's take a break. And, and, and I, don't, I, don't, I don't want I don't want to believe that I, I don't, man. I really that, don't. But you want some problem. answers. Yeah, I you want, want some, I want some answers. answers. Okay. When we come back, we'll talk to Tina and find out once and for all if she did, in fact, know anything about Don Don's murder. Stay with us. <laughs> Next. The way she responded to the situation made me think that she knew what was going to take place in her house. What the f*** do I look like? Hey, what you like? Okay. Don't make me look like I'm a bad person. You are. Tina. You better turn around and hey, just wait just for these for results. Hey. hey. That's what you better and do. And what? That's what you better do. Later, Brianna is a prisoner in her own home. He has no friends. He records me with cameras. An unsolved murder. She's a suspect in this crime. Today on Trisha. Before the break, we were talking to Felicia and her son, Michael. They're here today because they want to find out, once and for all, if Tina had anything to do with the death of Felicia's son, Don Don, who was brutally murdered in Tina's apartment while she happened to be out. Now, last night, Tina took a polygraph test, and we will reveal those results in a moment. But first, I think it's time to welcome Tina back. Now, for so, you, Tina, for you, for let me you tell you what, I'm gonna tell you like this. Ain't not one time that I've been there and I look out for y'all. What the so you all look Why like? you wanna hey, come out here and think you're gonna check what somebody? Like? Somebody hey, better give my wife hey, a hey, 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 Tina, like because don't me. make me look like I'm a bad person. You are. You are. You a bad are. Person. So, in your point, what are you talking about? And what are you gonna do? I beg you to go somewhere. I beg you to go with me. Tina, you don't have Tina. Remember, you text me. I don't want to be in this house with them. Just right. stop it. Hey, stop right. don't come it. out here like you checking stop me. Because this stop ain't it. definitely what you want. Stop it. Tina. You better turn around and hey, just wait just for these it. results. Hey. hey, that's what you better and do. And what? That's what you better do. Yeah, then you better right. hope you pass. Tina. Tina. You better pray you pass. Hey, 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 hey. pray you pass. Tina. Tina. Tina, that's not why you're here. Let's hear everyone talking to the shouting. Let me hear from you, Florida. You're saying that Tina, you're convicting Tina before she's been found guilty. I'm Why? not saying I'm a judge. I can't say... Hang on, let's, let's hear. What, what is it I about I can't say her? that she did it, but some of her ways and her responses to the, the situation taking place was just nonchalant. Like and I even told Tina to her face that. 
I even said that. You didn't show no type of remorse. And I told you that. You did, you did. So I'm not saying that she did. I ain't that. Let me hear. I can't say she did and I can't say she didn't. But I would like to find out if she did. And the way that she that responded to the situation. That sound better. Mew. The way she responded to the Mew. situation Mew. made me think that she knew what was going to take place in her house. And I have every right to feel that way. Tina, sir. So. The conversation is over here. Don't come out and attack somebody else because we need to be well, talking they, about they've it. They've been attacking hey, me. All right. All right, I hear what you say. But well, let's talk about it. Me. So, Tina. So you agreed to come back here yes. today because what? Are you getting threats? Do people think you were involved? Yes, and I'm here because I'm here for Nana and I'm here for his mother. To who, who's bring threatened her close. you? Who's the people have threatened? I mean, you? everybody. Everybody. What the family? No. Everybody is friends of Don Don and his a family lot of as people. well. Name one family member that threatened you, talk, uh, girl. Name one family member. She calls my phone. She talks to me. She says things against her own family, and then yeah. you turn around and she uh, tell them things against. Because she's a manipulator. I have she plays against each other. I have mama. never told my family nothing bad about you. You always talk about your mama to me, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just before the, that, on that day that Don Don was murdered. Okay, take me through what happened. I was gonna leave my kids there, but the reason I did not leave my kids is because Michael wanted my cell phone. And I'm like, well, why do you want my phone when everybody in the house got a phone? So I was So you like, take, let, let me skip to you, take to all the, the kids, you end up in the store. Now, I just wanna cover a few points. Now, one of the things that Felicia said is when she called you and said that her baby had been shot, you were very nonchalant in your no, reply. No, these are her words. She called me. She said, Kiki, where you at? I'm like, oh my God, I forget. I was supposed to call you because- I swear to God on my life, on I my was son, to call maybe rest you. in peace. And it's not said, what she said. She it's said, not what she said. She said, oh remember. my God, let me go back here and see what's going on. That's, that's exactly what she said. And I'm not making no joke, but that's exactly what she said. Did you she say that? Me. That's exactly no. what she said. I did not believe it because I had that's just hung up the phone that. from Don Don. Did you say that? Let me go see what's going on. That's no. exactly I said, what let you me said. call and find out. I don't believe that. that. Oh. Were you upset? Were you screaming? Were you crying? No, I wasn't. Because, because I didn't believe it. Like, I really didn't believe it. What, you thought Felicia was making it up? Mm. I mean, I, I don't know what I thought at that time, mm. but I didn't believe it. And at the funeral, we heard Felicia say that you were out partying. Partying. Everybody was, they was out. The guys and stuff was dancing. And when my, we looked out the window of the uh, funeral Everybody car. was hanging out the, the guys, car. The guys, they swerving. was hanging out the car. Like Everybody. the boys do. They swerved the cars in and out. I was in she the was car with a also. friend of Don Don. Everybody was out the window. Why not me do it? What's the problem with me doing it? So, Tina, let me ask you outright. Did you have anything to do with Don Don's murder? Sure, she. No. Did, I wouldn't be here. I, I, I would not make myself anyone? look like an ass and come on the show knowing I got something to do with this man's murder. All right, murder. so let me change the question here. Did you know anything about anyone coming to your house to do anyone in that house? No. Yeah. Some, ha some bad deed? No. Not at all? No. Okay, so we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we'll bring out Tim Acosta and we will reveal the results of the lie detector test. <laughs> Next. Today, a murder could be solved. Clearly she's a suspect. The most important polygraph test we've ever done. Regarding the shooting at your apartment, did you have any involvement with it? The polygraph determined that Tina... Solved murder. She's a suspect in this crime. Today on Trisha. <laughs> Welcome back. The moment of truth is here. We're going to find out once and for all if Tina knew anything at all about the murder of Felicia's son, Don Don. I think that this is one of the most important polygraph tests we have ever conducted on this show. And to explain to us the examination that was given, please welcome Tim Acosta. <laughs> Okay, 
so Tim, as people should know by now, you were a, a cop you, you, for a, a number of years. Quite a, quite a while, Tricia. Quite a while. Prior to becoming a polygraph examiner, I was a detective with the New York City Police Department. Um, as a detective with the New York City Police Department, I had the opportunity to investigate crimes of every nature, from homicides to kidnappings to rapes. You name it, I've investigated it. So just explain to us the tests that you did. The test I did on Tina, um, I used a validated exam, which is something that the American Polygraph Association requires that polygraph examiners use. Right. Um, I took an extended period of time conducting an interview with Tina. And one of the reasons for that is I want to make sure that I cover all of the issues, okay, and I try and get every single detail. She's a suspect in this crime, okay? Clearly, she's a suspect. Right. So my job is to try to get every single detail of what she did during that entire day from before the incident happened, okay, during and after. And I, I watch her and I watch every single movement from her body and I try and pick up any kind of clues. There are certain things that a trained investigator will look for, okay, and I key in to every single movement that Tina made that day. So I think it's important to say it's not just the questions that you want to ask, that the family wants to ask. This is, there's a lot at stake here. So this is, is. The, the, these are the sorts of questions that a murder investigation would ask. Absolutely. All right, so Tim, are you ready for the results? Yes, I am, Tricia. Okay. Thank you. As usual, I'm just going to read from here and Tim will give us uh, the results. We asked Tina, do you know for sure who shot Don Don? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Tina was being truthful. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We are. We are. Let's keep going. Let's let, we've got quite a way to go. Quite a way to go. We asked Tina, did you know for sure that someone was coming to your apartment to hurt Don Don the day he was killed? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Tina was being truthful. Yeah. We asked, did you know for sure that someone was coming to your apartment to hurt Michael the day Don Don was killed? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Tina was being truthful. Yeah. We asked, regarding the shooting at your apartment, did you have any involvement with it? You said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Tina was being truthful. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now who, now who, what? Who did what? I don't got to. We want to know. Hey, we want to know. Hey, hey, now. Just a Please. moment. Okay. While you're, while you're whooping and hollering for George, someone, someone was killed. I understand that. I understand that. I don't have no I understand that. You don't have no feelings. I don't need to know. You understand me? I need to know. Why you pissing on me? That's my son. Still going at the end of the day. The way she played her part in all this. You know what went down at the house. I asked her to leave both of them alone. Now you have a no. Okay, you, all right. so that was my anymore. reason for wanting to know this she had to do with. The point that Felicia's making is that she begged when Tina exactly. rang and said she was messing around with both her sons, you begged her I to leave her them to alone. Leave them alone. Tim, did you have anything else to add to that? I did, Tricia. You know, I covered the issues with Tina to make sure I didn't leave any stones unturned. Mm -hmm. Tina did not have any involvement. She did not know that somebody was coming to the house that day to hurt your son. Okay, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, you know, I hope that somebody watches this show and that somebody calls up and gives a tip to the police so that they can try and find this person. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tim. Thank you. Um, Tim, how are you feeling, Florida? How are you feeling? I never said Tina did anything. I said I wanted to know. Yeah. But I now know. that I know, I'm going to just do what I feel is right and just leave her alone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Next. Brianna is a prisoner in her own home. Why didn't you go outside? He accuses me of sleeping with our neighbors. He records me with cameras. Brianna cheated on me once, and because of that, I do not trust her. I won't take a shower when he's not home because I don't want him to come home and think I cleaned somebody off of me.
I want to be able to get dressed and look pretty when he gets home from work, and I can't because he thinks it's from someone else. You are the power. Get off my stage. Unsolved murder. She's a suspect in this crime. Today on Trisha. <laughs> Sitting with me is 21 year old Brianna, who is here today to clear her name with a polygraph test. Brianna claims she's become a prisoner in her own home. You see, her boyfriend George, who is also the father of her two children, began accusing her of cheating, and now she's not allowed to leave the house or even shower without George's permission. In fact, he's installed cameras inside their home to monitor her every move. Let's start by listening to Brianna explain what her life is like. I'm here to prove to the father of my two kids that I'm not cheating on him. In the beginning, I did make a big mistake and I cheated on him one time, but I, I've never done that again. George doesn't trust me at all. I can't be around nobody, I have no friends. He records me with cameras. I won't take a shower when he's not home because I don't want him to come home and think I'll clean somebody off of me. I want to be able to get dressed and look pretty when he gets home from work and I can't because he thinks it's from someone else. He thinks I have a secret phone that I've been hiding from him for a year already. I'm 21, I don't go nowhere, I don't go party. I don't even ask to do that, I don't care about that. That's irrelevant, my family is my life. I want George to know that I'm not cheating on him, I wouldn't cheat on him, that he means everything to me, and what he's doing to me is not fair. Okay, now, um, Brianna's mother, Wendy, is here today, but not to help her daughter get away. She wants Brianna to save this relationship. Now, we'll meet her in a moment, but first, Brianna, you almost look... I don't know, tired? I've been going through this for a year. And what, what is it you're going through? Just take me through an, a, a normal day. George wakes up, he goes to work, I'll see him off. Um, I'll get my kids up, get them dressed, feed them breakfast, then I let them play outside, but I have to watch them from the windows. Well, you don't go outside? Why don't, why don't you go outside? Because I don't want him to think that I was outside with somebody or that I was looking at the neighbors. Has he, has he said that that's what you do? He accuses me of sleeping with our neighbors. And he's got cameras there, so I guess you think that if you did go outside, he'd see that? Yeah. So friends, do you have friends over? No, I don't even let my family come over when he's not home. So does he get angry? Does he get tearful? He, don't get, he cries, he gets sad, and I don't want to see him sad because I'm not hurting him, I'm not doing nothing, but he's still hurting. What's this about underwear at the neighbor's house? He found my underwear underneath the neighbor's bedroom window. And how did they get there? I have no idea. What is it about a phone? Do you have your own phone or anything like that? He thinks I have a secret phone that I talk to guys on. Why would he think you've got a secret phone? One time, he had been accusing me for a while of having a phone, and he found my sister's phone right under my butt, but she accidentally left it, and he didn't believe me. And as soon as I seen it, I said, here, take it, hurry, take it, because I didn't want him to think that oh, wow. I was using it. So your whole life is based on what makes George happy and what doesn't make George happy? I make happy. George happy, but I'm not happy. Have you told him this? No. You've never told him this I tell him that I'm not happy and it's not fair, but he just don't have no trust in me. What's going to happen if things don't change? Are you just going to stick it out? It has to change today. That's why I'm here. What about your mum? Do you go out with your mum? No, I hate when she asks me to go somewhere because I hate the disappointment on her face when I tell her I can't. Have you ever told her why you can't? I just tell her that I don't want George to think anything. Now... I think it's time we, we meet George, but before okay. we do that, let's take a look at why George believes he's forced to treat Brianna like a prisoner in her own home. I'm in love with a person that I do not trust. Brianna and I have been together for three years and we have two beautiful kids together. Now our relationship is not exactly so beautiful. 
Brianna cheated on me once and because of that, I do not trust her. At random times, I check the bed in the middle of the night because I feel something vibrating. Brianna doesn't need a phone, but I feel like she's hiding one from me. When Brianna puts on makeup, it makes me think like she's getting dressed for someone else. I'm at work all day, so she's not getting dressed up for me. I check everything that Brianna does on Facebook because that site's nothing but drama. I want to know who she's talking to and what she's talking about. I don't like treating Brianna like this, but she has left me no choice. Brianna and I can't last on just love if she doesn't pass this lie detector test. Let's welcome George. I'm not going to boo George until I hear why this is going on. So, why do you think that Brianna's cheating on you? Um, because all the evidence I found, um, the problem with the phone and also the panic situation. You've got cameras up? Yes, I do got cameras up, but that's just to tell um, well, my family's at home. I want to watch over my kids and my family. But you accuse me of cheating on you. You could check the cameras and see that I yeah. don't even go outside when you're not home. So tell me about these these panties. You saw them in a neighbor's what garden yeah, um, or something? Yeah. Well, the, uh, I walked there over there and showed them to him. I said, "What are they doing right there?" Do you really believe she's cheating? Do you really yeah, believe she's I cheating? Yeah, everything I've been through. Come on, I give her everything. I, what else does she want from me? I love her to death. But I'm she's not, not happy. Lying. I that do what I can to make you happy, and I'm not happy because I'm not cheating on you. You what think I'm happy too? What about her mum? Do you trust her with her mum? No. Why not? Why not? It's just, the, it's just the fact how her mom asks. Okay, I really need for you to keep it down, please. Thank you. Yeah. Her mom's a good person. She helped us out a lot, but it's just stuff that I noticed that I know she covered up once for her. What makes you think she won't do that to me? What would you do if she failed any part of the lie detector test? How are you going to deal with that? I don't know. You don't know? I want to meet... Uh, Brianna's mom, Wendy. Okay, I know she's she's here to try and work out what's been going on. Before we meet her, let's just listen to what she's got to say. I'm here today to help my daughter Brianna and her boyfriend George salvage what's left of their relationship together. I'm very close with George. I love him as if he is my own son. George provides for my daughter and my grandchildren and what mother wouldn't want that type of man for their daughter? George doesn't allow Brianna to do a number of things but I honestly don't believe that it's to control her. Brianna did make a mistake in the beginning of their relationship, and I think that's what's caused George to have some trust issues with her. I know that George doesn't want to lose his family, and that's why some of the actions seems as if he's controlling, but I know that he's not. He's just afraid of losing her. Coming to the show today will answer a lot of questions and hopefully help Brianna and George move forward in their relationship together. Let's welcome Brianna's mother, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. So, are you hearing a lot of this for the first time? Yes. You don't think, you, you said that you don't think of George as controlling. What do you think this is all about then? I know that he's not controlling. I know um, that it seems as if he is but I know that he doesn't make Brianna do certain things, like not take a shower. She chooses not to do that because she doesn't want to put fuel to his fire to hurt his feelings. Why don't you take a shower? Because I don't want him to think that I was doing something to have to take a shower. Do you feel that's right? No, it's not right. Is she okay to go out on her own? It's kind, of, it's kind of hard for me to trust her, honestly. Well, well why did you stay with her then? Because I love her. She's the mother of my kids. They're both very good kids and they love each other very much. And I know that if we can get past this, the lie detector is going to help answer questions. And hopefully from today forward, we can move forward. Okay. That's why we're here, Trisha. I don't know what the results are, but if they come back that Brianna's been truthful about all of this, what does that mean? I'm going to apologize to her and apologize to her family. <laughs> Please welcome Tim Acosta, our private investigator and photographer. Next. Brianna is desperate to clear her name. Have you had a cell phone that George doesn't know about? Were you lying when you told George you didn't know how your underwear ended up by a neighbor's window? Since you and George have been living with family, have you had sexual contact with any of your neighbors? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Brianna.
unsolved murder. She's a suspect in this crime. Today on Trisha. I'm here to prove to the father of my two kids that I'm not cheating on him. George doesn't trust me at all. Brianna cheated on me once, and because of that, I do not trust her. I don't like treating Brianna like this, but she has left me no choice. Brianna and I can't last on just slub if she doesn't pass this lie detector test. Do you really believe she is cheating? Everything I've been through, come on. Yeah, I love her to death. But she's not, not happy. Lying. I'm not cheating on you. I'm here today to help my daughter Brianna and her boyfriend, George, salvage what's left of their relationship together. Coming to the show today will answer a lot of questions and hopefully help Brianna and George move forward in their relationship together. Please welcome Tim Acosta, our private investigator and polygraph. Tim, are you ready? So I'm gonna read from here, I'm gonna read what Brianna told Tim and uh, Tim will tell us whether she was being truthful or not. Okay, Tim. We asked Brianna, we asked you, do you want the truth to come out today? You said yes. Tim. The polygraph determined that Brianna was being truthful. We asked Brianna, since you've been in a relationship with George, have you had a cell phone that George doesn't know about? And you said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Brianna was being truthful. <laughs> we asked Brianna, were you lying when you told George you didn't know how your underwear ended up by a neighbor's window? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Brianna was being truthful. I told you! I we, told asked you. you. we asked you, since you and George have been living with family, have you had sexual contact with any of your neighbors? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Brianna was being truthful. Do your mom and your sister help cover for you so you can cheat on George? You said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Brianna was being truthful. We asked you, other than the time George knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than George? You said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Brianna was being truthful. Next, what happened after the cameras stopped rolling? Updates on today's guests. You are the power. Get off my stage. An unsolved murder. She's a suspect in this crime. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. Now, many of you often have asked for updates on the stories that appear on our shows. As always, we wanted to wait right until this episode was about to air to get you the most factual information. So, here is today's Trisha air date update. Felicia claims that Tina is back to her old partying ways. Michael says that he only speaks to Tina about their baby, and that's it. However, Tina claims Michael comes to her house often, and it has nothing to do with seeing baby Dontrell. George has been putting more trust into Brianna since she passed the lie detector test. They're going to start family therapy this month. Wendy is so thankful to see her two kids getting along and acting like a couple again. We'll be right back. I want to thank you for watching. Remember, there will be more truth tomorrow.